hello everyone welcome to my channel my name is yemi i do diy videos in this video i'll be taking you through a self portrait shoot that i did recently i have been meaning to practice you know do more personal projects this year but i haven't really had the time to do it or i haven't been committed to doing it so i decided to do one this week and this video is pretty much the result of what i did the theme for this shoot was mirrors so i really wanted to get some really nice mirror shots using um, my camera and a few lights uh, i used one light in some shots i used two in other shots so i would show you what i did with each shot i started by cleaning my mirror with this gigantic uh, <laughs> i started by cleaning my gigantic mirror with this windex uh solution so i did that to get rid of any dirt marks or spots that might show up in my shot and after doing that i decided to do some test shots just to see if the ideas that i had in my mind would you know really translate and come to life i did check for inspiration on pinterest and one shot that really caught my attention or that caught my attention was a shot by bed i don't know if i can find it right now because i think it was on his story so it would have gone but yeah it inspired me to really get up and you know do something with my camera so after taking some test shots and you know figuring out where i was going to keep my lights i decided to go do my makeup so i'm not really a makeup expert so i have really nothing to say about that in a hurry so i didn't like lay lay like you know we would lay but that's okay i have some um highlights on my chest did some uh use some glitter spray right here for my setup this is a big dresser that i'm using there's a small stool that i can sit on the light, the young no light that you're seeing there is the YN216 light. It's on the right side of the mirror. I also have this LED light I'm going to use later. And the camera is M50 with the Sigma lens. I started off with just the young no light on the table and I took a few shots just to see the result I was going to get, to see if I was going to place it on the floor. And these are the results that I got with it. So I let her put this Ulanzi 40 watt light on the bed. Basically, it's directly opposite the mirror. So it's lighting the wall that is directly opposite the mirror so you can see it in the shot. These are my camera settings. These are the camera settings I used. I started out with 5.6 for my temperature, but I increased that to 6.2 because I, re I really wanted it to be really warm. So yeah. I switched the lights to this LED light because the battery of the young one died and that's why I actually made the, made the temperature warmer or added a little more warmth to it because it wasn't as warm as I expected it to be. I went on to take a couple more shots, basically just playing with my hair and posing as much as I could and I knew what my models go through. But these are the results that I got with this one. Forgot to mention that in the previous shots, I put the light on the left side of the mirror, but I didn't like this shot, so I kept it on the right side for a good part of the shoot. I took some shots, but I noticed some medication medication on the table, which I took out in the previous shots. I took out the medication from the table and I started posing again. You can see me controlling the camera with my phone using the Canon Connect app. These are the results I got with this new setting and I was liking <laughs> what I saw. I went on to take some other or do some other pic take some other pictures with and without the hairband just to see if I'll get like you know different vibe. These are the results that I got with the band on my hair. I did this one without the band. 
after doing this i went on to try some poses with the lipstick on the table i started doing poses with makeup basically so this was a bit of a struggle because i really wanted to use my two hands but i needed one hand to control the app so i got these ones and i think they are nice let me know what you think in the comment section after doing that i tried to practice with mirror just to see if i could get some shots with a mirror in the mirror sort of so the smaller mirror was pretty much focusing on my jewelry these are the results that i got and i think i like them after doing that i decided to stand to get some shots and i put the light to the left side of the mirror and began to try more poses but i had to lift the light a little so that it would meet my eye level or my face level because i wanted to stand in these next shots that you're going to see so i turned off the ulanzi light that i put to um, light up the wall i didn't feel like i needed it anymore for the standing pose so i tried playing with mascara and i think my makeup brush as well this wasn't exactly easy but i was able to get some shots out of that so i also moved the camera to the left side mind you I, I didn't mention that before so now i wanted my face to be you know evenly lit so i put the ulanzi light on the other side of the mirror so now there was light on the left and right side of the mirror then i started trying some poses playing with my hair playing with my jewelry playing with my dress just to see you know get a variety of poses these are the results which i absolutely love then i also went on to play with my makeup brush just you know act like you're applying makeup under your eyes or something then I was, the camera was still on the left side it was facing the mirror this ulanzi light acts funny <laughs> it shakes like that and i don't know why it does that but these are the results that i got with this one these are the settings that i used i went on to take some sitting poses again so i started standing and this was around say 12 30 at night <laughs> i don't yeah so I, I just mentioned i turned off the ulanzi light so now I tried some, you know, applying makeup poses. I didn't move the light for some reason. I think it, I, I liked the result I was getting, so I didn't bring the light back down. But I think I brought it back down later. I'm not too sure. <laughs> We're going to see. So I took these ones and I really loved these shots. I also took some, you know, like side profile kind of shots. And I really loved the results that I got. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Okay, that's it from me for today. I hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you do like this video, please give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. It does encourage me to keep making more content like this. And if you have any questions, you can leave your questions in the comment section. I'll answer you to the best of my ability. Basic questions about the gadgets I use or about editing. I can give you answers. Okay. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Till then, do enjoy the rest of your time on YouTube. Bye for now.